Hey guys, what's up? This is David. Thanks for stopping by. So today I'm gonna share with you the best survival knife in the world for any situation that you find yourself in. You ready? Okay, let's get started. So what makes a great survival knife? Well, there's a lot of debate and discussion about this, probably because the term survival knife means many different things to many different people. A bushcrafter, a hunter, an outdoorsman, a prepper, tactical or military professional, or just plain folks like you and me are likely to come up with different conclusions about what makes the best survival knife because of our experiences, our needs, our expectations, and how we see the world. So let me ask you this. What is the best survival knife? Okay, got your answer? Yeah, I had mine until a good friend blew my mind one day when he said to me, David, the best survival knife is the one you have on you when you need it most. Now think about that for a moment. This really makes a lot of sense because if you're like me, you're probably not gonna always have your preferred primary survival blade with you or on you all the time. So when something bad happens and your primary survival knife is not available, the knife that you every day carry on your person becomes your primary survival knife. Does that make sense? That's what everyday carry is all about. So I can't stress to you enough that you need to have at least one or two everyday carry knives on you at all times. For me, I have a five-tier approach to everyday carry survival cutting tools that I think that you might find helpful. Here it is. Tier number one, a neck knife. A good neck knife is my primary EDC blade because it travels unnoticed and invisible on my necklace at all times. My personal choice in neck knives is the super light and capable CRKT Foltz Minimalist or my new favorite, the Ultimate Survival Tips MSK1 Mini Neck Knife. Tier 2, a pocket knife. When I need a blade quick, I'm reaching for my pocket knife. Now my pocket knife changes depending on the situation. If I just want a general utility blade, either my Schrade First Response or my Gerber Propel are coming along. But if I'm traveling or for some reason want more of a self-defense blade, my Gerber Covert or Mini Covert usually get the nod. Tier 3, a belt sheath knife. Because many folks wear belts, I recommend a small to medium sized belt sheath knife or multi tool as your Tier 3 EDC blade. I every day carry my trusted Leatherman Wave multi tool in my belt. Now besides having a great fine and serrated edge blade, my Leatherman Wave has a pile of other tools that come in handy at home and in the field. Tier 4, a wallet knife. When I leave the house, I always have my wallet in my pocket. And so my wallet has always seemed like a great place to keep a backup blade. So I carry a folding credit card knife as my last ditch knife. They're pretty affordable, lightweight, and wicked sharp. It only takes up a credit card slot in my wallet that easily folds into a very capable light duty knife. My fifth and final tier for an everyday carry survival knife is my primary or preferred survival knife. This is the one knife that I want with me if things go real bad. Some of my favorites range from the Mora Light My Fire, OKC Blackbird SK5, Gerber LMF2, Schrade's SCHF9, or my Becker BK2. But in a worst case scenario, my MSK1 multi scenario knife is not going to be far away. Now here's a bonus tip. For a super cheap last ditch blade, take some heavy duty duct tape and secure a standard old school razor blade with cardboard blade protector to the inside of your wallet or to the inside of your shoe under the insole. But whatever you do, don't forget about your everyday carry blades when entering weapons free buildings going through TSA checkpoints, like I did one day with my Leatherman Wave, almost cost me my tool, missing my flight. But that's a story for another day. There you have it, a five-tier approach to everyday carry to ensure that you have a survival cutting tool on you at all times. For your convenience, I've put links to all the gear that we've talked about in the video description. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and visit ultimatesurvivaltips.com for more survival tips, training, and reviews. Oh, and remember to check back every week for more videos. Like, comment, and share this video with others that you think it'll help. And remember, be prepared because you never know.